Look at that. Holy cow. The 3.5 liter Cyclone engine here is the toughest engine on the planet. To all of my hustlers out there, I want to show you this Ford Edge that we bought for $1,200 thinking we got a steal. We bought this thing knowing that it needed an internal water pump. Now, usually this would be a huge deal because not only did it need a water pump, it was completely full of water in the engine, but I know, and you guys should know if you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, that the 3.5 liter Cyclone engine here is the toughest engine on the planet. This thing doesn't care. You can pour vegetable on it and it will run. So we got this thing, we bought it 1200 bucks. We spent a little bit of money and we put a water pump in. Afterwards, we were very, very happy with the car sitting here idling, but when we went down the road, we noticed that we had all kind of timing issues. We had no power, we're setting codes for every single one of the VCTs. So here we are, really, really, really disappointed. But here's what I wanna show you. This is the VCT solenoid right here. As you can see, we have three different rings here. This is the supply. As you can see, we weren't supplying much of anything other than metal. So me and Jake thought to ourselves, we said, holy cow, how's this 3.5? This is so great making all this metal. We done us a little bit of late Friday night hypothesizing and we decided it had to be the water pump, right? It make the most sense. The bearing went out, it could have hit the cover, something like that. So I just want to show you guys just how tough this 3.5 Cyclone is. Y'all don't believe me. Y'all think it's junk because you got to spend $1,800 one time on a water pump. I'm going to clean this metal out right here. We're going to clean this metal off the solenoid and I'm going to show you how well this motor runs even after all this junk being in. We spent about four seconds actually cleaning this thing. It's got a little bit here left over, right? We don't care, man. This engine doesn't care. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm going to sell this thing to somebody for 10 grand. It didn't go so well. She's toast, man. This is the uh, solenoids back out of the edge. We, we blew up, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we lost the footage of us installing this used engine in the edge, but obviously from the footage, <laughs> our method of cleaning out those VTT solenoids did not work. This engine had lower engine issues, something with the main rod bearing cause and all that metal in it. But what we did was we got on eBay, we found an $1,100 engine and we offered them 900 bucks for it. They accepted it and shipped it to us in a couple weeks. We installed that engine and got this edge back going where we were able to at least recoup our money back out of it. We actually ended up making about $1,000 on the whole ordeal by the time it was said and done. So here's that new engine run. Ready to engineer it up, running out pretty good after we blew all the carbon out of it. <laughs> So tomorrow.